What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Team Chat Podcast. I am one of your hosts, Jarrett Wilson, joined to my right by Rachel Mogan. How's it going? And to my left, Zachary Parks. Yo. In case you did not know, Team Chat Podcast is a video game podcast where we talk about games, the ones we love, the ones we hate, and everything in between. If you want to get in contact with us, you can do that by sending us an email at teamchatpodcast.gmail.com, following us on Twitter, liking us on Facebook, and subscribing to our channels on YouTube and iTunes. And if you'd like to support the show, you can always do that as well by going to patreon.com slash team chat podcast, where as for as a little as a dollar a month, I feel like I still say too many words there for what? as little as a dollar a month. No, that's no, right. that's you could say just for just, like, for just a dollar for a oh, little as a dollar a month, though, is much more salesy. Which I like. What, do you? Yeah, you I sound thought like we the hate Oxycon sales. Guy. The Oxycon. At some point, we have <laughs> to make Wait, money. No, what's his name? Billy Mays here with Team Chat <laughs> yeah. Podcast. Billy Mays here with Team Chat Podcast. Yeah, is this like journey? <laughs> you clean it with OxyClean. You could cosplay Billy Mays. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> We're aware that I'm he's... Billy Mays. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right. We're aware he's passed away, yes? <laughs> oh, yeah. We all know I know, that. that's why I just All did right. the cocaine line. <laughs> We're okay. doing an Very homage nice. to Billy Mays, okay? <clears throat> that's how he stayed so pumped how up. Did he, how did Oxy he die? Clean? You want OxyClean? I got cocaine. That's just like Oxy. <laughs> he OD'd on cocaine. Oh, he did? You're like drugs. Oh. Something like He OD'd. That sucks. That's why my that's why I make, that's why I'm making the cocaine jokes. Oh, okay. It's been enough time. It's fine. It's fine to make this joke. Someone told me he got hit in the head by a piece of luggage in an airliner. (laughs) No. (laughs) I believe that. That's not true. (laughs) A luggage full of cocaine, maybe. How else do you think he maintained that manic energy? He did have some crazy energy. Yeah. Billy Mays here. (laughs) Billy Mays here. Do the team chat. (laughs) Billy Uh, Mays. Man, I should. But where was I? For a dollar a month, you can support the show. And in return, we will give you cool perks like getting the episode early or the audio and video versions of the episode early. But that is patreon.com slash team chat podcast. Now, before we get into the main topic of the show, we do have our song contest and we have a winner. Last week, I gave us the hint of Beware the Swarm. <gasps> What did I say? I guess. Something you wrong. said doom. I said doom. You're never right. And, no. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. could be close because, yeah. you know, the swarms of the demons of hell. And didn't you give the hint? I did give yeah, the hint. So yeah, so I was like, yeah. let's play doom. Yeah. Doom. But I went with a classic game a little bit more that's come up a little bit in the news recently, and it was correctly guessed by, hold on, please hold, Nicholas Boyven. Starcraft. And I apologize <laughs> if, I bu- if I butchered no, your you name. you went through it so well. It was, it was just I apologize the, if the pronunciation is wrong, but he correctly confidence. guessed. Yeah, you just right have to believe that you're right. Starcraft. Yeah. Starcraft. Starcraft. I chose that one because it popped up in my Spotify the other day. Yeah. And I heard it and I was like, damn, I forgot how good this music of Starcraft is. And then it was just like its anniversary and they announced that they're creating the remastered version of the original Ooh. Starcraft. And the Ooh, original unremastered Starcraft is now free. Oh, So if you have nice. not played... Starcraft, which I highly recommend you do, you can get it for free. Isn't that a Mac r- Windows? Yeah, it's a real time strategy game, right? Yes. Okay. Huge. Real time. Yeah. Look at his face just blaze over. <laughs> no, thank you, good sir, is what he says to Starcraft. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, but getting to the topic of the show. First off, it seems like it's been a long time since we recorded. Yeah, it does. Sure. We had to. Like we had to manipulate. We've like, never recorded the day before we release. Oh, maybe, we've done it. Maybe before. we did a long time ago. Okay, yeah, like, we shouldn't have. like the early patrons got theirs today. They should have. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I break that up? Well, no, I, I sent them all. I sent a message on Patreon. To, uh, sent a put a post on there saying like, <laughs> "Hey, due to scheduling yeah. conflicts that you know unforeseen scheduling contact conflicts, we couldn't get the episode out." Early, like we like, so we're having yeah. to actually record it tonight. Yeah, don't worry, you'll get the nice, brand new, fresh off the presses. Ooh, it's gonna be really hot tomorrow. Oh, yeah, it's a hot, it's gonna be like item. hot cakes, piping yeah. hot cakes is what this episode will we'll never be. be so relevant. We're always like a week behind, <laughs> <No>. so <laughs> we always we're are like cu- a- just current. They're gonna be like, Man, we like this better. <laughs> yeah, they're so current, <laughs> but but so I went ahead and let them all know that hey, we know it's not out today, we're sorry, but you're getting the new episode next week. We'll be back on track, yeah, so no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. So yeah, what have you guys been up to? <laughs> <laughs> I've been working my ass off. Yeah, me too. I did a I did a head worker conference that was three days with a little bit before that for setting up the the conference, and then like twelve hour days while during it. So I had yeah, <laughs> like we could have recorded Drained. last night, but I was not feeling Sunday it. night. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I could have done Sunday night actually, but I was not feeling. It. I know, and yeah. I planned ahead that I wasn't going to feel yeah. it. Yeah, you know, it's a good call. Yeah, I good was call. eating brownies and drinking wine. Really, that sounds yeah. awesome. It, was it the does. Best. I watched uh, the Secret Life of Pets. That, you know oh, that I've movie? That, yeah. 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 That was okay. It was I don't know. I just didn't want to turn my mind off, I think. It was, it was pretty a pretty fun. funny movie. Had some yeah, good parts. It had some good parts. I think it was more of a good idea. Uh, 
Wow. In like a good movie. I mean, it was kind of like, let's see if we can make Toy Story work with pets. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> but, you know, it still had Louis C.K. was funny in it. I didn't realize it was. Well, was actually, I realized it was Louis C.K. Um, Kevin, really cool. <laughs> Kevin Hart was funny as that bunny rabbit that saves him. It's, it's really bizarre. Like, they, there's a oh. point where. Not to go into it too much, but like, how'd you, you killed your owners, didn't you? Like, yeah, we killed our owners. How'd you kill them? Like, with a blender. Like, it's pretty, like, it's a weird moment in the film where you're like, whoa, <laughs> Jesus. When they're trying to, like, fit into the, the street gang of pets. Yeah, yeah. they, like, the hate their owners. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way. They all live in the that's sewer. That's funny. Yeah, it was a pretty funny movie. I watched it when I was sick once, I think, and I was just like, yeah. I, don't, I don't want anything else to do with being aware. Yeah. <laughs> so I just watched <laughs> Just kill me. <laughs> just, I think I was, pre- I was pretty damn sick. <laughs> And I was like, lights out, please. <laughs> nothing else for me. Consciousness, no thanks. <laughs> but yeah, so I took today off from work. Actually, I didn't. I didn't work uh, since I've been doing that, and I played pretty much. I played Horizon pretty much all day. Today. Still trying to finish it up. Yeah, must nice. be nice. Okay, you had the weekend. Some of us. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's true. I'm, I did. Today I did. is my Sunday. I did. That's nice. true. Yeah, you, know, nice. you know. So, but uh, but yeah, so I Progress played Horizon. Along. I am 75% complete, like total game completion. That's, yeah, you're, you're, so I'm getting close. Yeah. I'm, but that like, must, I played, you, you I played all day to, today and didn't do a single main mission. So let me just tell you how much okay. I'm doing. But you still must be in a place where you could be like, is it a good game? Like, oh, like you could like okay, review so, it essentially. Oh, I definitely could. You could be like, is it? I, so my friend that played it says like one of the best games ever. I would hardly, I think it's probably jumped into my top three. Uh, games of all time? Wow. I think so. Wow. It's Wait, like, so who did this place? It probably it, it probably did what <laughs> crap. I gotta remember Not what the they were. Not Last of Us. No, no. Last of Us is still yeah. number one. Yeah, so last of Us number one. What's number two? Number two. Um, Civilization. <laughs> no, I'm trying I to think. I was gonna of, guess that too. Stronghold. <laughs> Stronghold. No, because I'm trying to think. I'm trying to remember back to our first episode because I said. Oh yeah, we, talked we about should know there. this. <laughs> so I should know this. Uh, it was Last of Us, Dark Forces, and yeah, it was a Star Wars game. Uh, it might have been Civilization actually, and I think it. it I might, think it was. I think it. it, it Civs do you, get in the axe? Yeah, yeah. No, I actually, we all know. Or Dark Forces get in the axe. Or does it even warrant top three? Is it Can really? Is it really number four your right love now? Love for Star Wars. No, see, it's usurper. put me in the top. It's put me in a top in a tough position. It, but you really like it. It's oh my god! Like I, do, I think that's why I'm. Other than the fact that I'm wanting to platinum the game, yeah. and get all the trophies and, and stuff, and get 100 percent completion. Uh, like I think I'm, the more I'm more striving for that goal because I literally don't want to stop playing it. Huh. Like it's, well, I, I don't want to quit. The yeah. the ca- the combat is so good. The the setting is so good. Uh, the I heard the, the story is engaging. The story is great. It's going in an interesting direction, yeah. which I'm not. I feel like I'm probably, even though I'm at 75% completion of the game, I feel like I'm at 50% of the main story. Okay. So I'm like getting hints about where the end game is going. Gotcha. And I know that like it takes me forever to finish a game, as I'm saying. Like I'm sitting here two months. Yeah, two months Has after. It been that long? Yeah, post release, and I'm still not. Oh done. my god! Uh, uh, frequent viewer, listener Cody just informed me that he just finished. Horizon oh yeah, Horizon Zero Dawn. I saw yeah. him on there. I saw yeah. him playing it the yeah. other day. Yes. Um, but yeah, I'm. Oh my god, it's so good. Aloy is such a fucking badass character. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Like, like oh my character. god, like great character. Um, Who voices her? Oh, I cannot think of her name. It's the same same actress who does the voice of the main. Uh, girl in Life is Strange, oh. and I want to say I feel her. Like I know who it is. Life I'm, I'm going to look it up real quick because yes, yeah. she deserves a definite shout out. I want to. I follow her on Twitter. Send her messages all the time. Be like, you're great. <laughs> um, I love you. <laughs> Come up to our podcast. What's your name? Do you live in Austin, Texas. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah. So no, it's just it's so good. The music's so good. Um, Who's I, the composer? Joris Joris Deman. Okay, there we go. Just stump him. No, I know that. It's actually uh, it's actually got like three or four (laughs) people associated with it. But Joris Deman is is the main composer to it. Uh, And yeah, the soundtrack is four hours long. Four hours long. Four hours long. Oh, nice. Cool. Yeah, that's excellent listening. It is solid listening. Download that for the drive back to Alabama. You you really should. (laughs) It's so good. Um, It's pulling up. Here we go. Ashley Birch. Ashley, Ashley Birch. Birch. Let's see what I else she's done. I feel Life is Strange would require a really good actress. Oh, certainly. So she must be a pretty great actor. She's fantastic as Aloy. I wonder if she does like live action. And I stuff. really want to play. Uh, I really want to play. Uh, Life is strange now. Yeah, because of this like I've I have I've the first I've that. had the first chapter of it. Yeah, but uh, because Square Enix released it for free a few months back. Yeah, and so I got it then. What? Yeah, yeah I didn't realize is just that. the first. Tra- it, for free? it might be the first oh. chapter. The first is it episode for Xbox? might be. Yeah, 
Okay. Xbox, PS4, PC, Mac. Okay. So yeah, it's everywhere. You get on Steam um, all that good stuff. Let's see. She's in Guardians of the Galaxy, the Telltale series video game. Uh, she does voice and attack on Titan, Horizon Zero Dawn, well, I take uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, World of Final Fantasy, uh, Critical Role, the TV show, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutants in Manhattan. Yes. She's April O'Neil, uh, Star Ocean, Integrity and Faithlessness in the English version. Battleborn, she's a voice in there. Legos oh, Marvel cool. Avengers. Yeah, she's a, she gets a lot of work. Yeah. Fallout 4. Ooh. Tina Tina DeLuca. Tina DeLuca from Fallout 4. Rowdy okay. and Cricket. From also Fallout 4? Yeah. I don't remember those characters. <laughs> uh, Persona 4. Point. Uh, Mortal Kombat X, she's Cassie Cage. Oh, oh, that's cool. cool. Uh, life is Strange. She's Chloe Price. I feel uh, like she has a cool life. I What's her like... Twitter like? <laughs> <laughs> and she's also in Saints Row, Got Out of Hell. So yeah, she's done a ton. Uh, but but Aloy, Aloy, I love Aloy. Uh, one of the main reasons I love her is that she is very, just by nature, like you would expect, and this is probably just a, you know, I don't just a worldview kind of thing, but you would expect, I feel like most a, a female character or whatever to be, you know, kind and understanding mm-hmm. and, and all that, which she is. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, she's also very much like, in other words, escaping me, but she is also very, uh, not afraid to be confrontational, not afraid to call people on their shit. Mm-hmm. And, um, well, wasn't she ostracized from society? She was. So why? Yeah. That yeah. Makes so, sense. so exactly. So she's like, but you, but I feel like in a lot of cases, Characters like that, even though they've been ostracized by society, they still have that like soft part of them that makes them be like, oh, but I still love people. But she is very much like, uh, no, I'm my own person. I made myself my own person. I mean, I had the help of Ross to train me and all that stuff. But, you know, uh, now I'm on my own and I can handle myself. Thank you very much. Hmm. And if you don't like that, get the fuck out of my way. And it's fantastic. And I love it. Nice. Um, And let's see. Oh, and just the monster, all the machines are r- ridiculous. Uh, f- I've now, I actually got the achievement for day- today for killing all of all. <laughs> what? You not, killer. Not in every, like, all of them all, all over the, the world. But just, animals. I've, I've killed each <laughs> type of machine. All the pets. Yeah, all, all the kind animals. <laughs> Fuck you, little bunny rabbit. <laughs> Fuck you, platinum That's this game. That's what I imagine Jarrett spends his time doing. Robot bunny, die! <laughs> you do have to kill a lot of bunnies in the game. Though. Robot bunnies? No, not robot bunnies, just oh, bunnies. Because just general. Oh, so there you are gotta, still... You gotta, like, craft and shit. Okay, so there's not just robot dinosaurs. There's also live... Yeah, I'm sorry. There's oh, also sorry. real animals. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, then everything like, was get, a robot. <laughs> no, nah, you got to get like uh, you got to get like skins and bone and okay. and meat and stuff for like crafting health potions and the oh, like, yes, upgrading your yes. carry capacity of your of Indeed. your various uh, luggage. So <laughs> what? <laughs> your your, your no. satchels. Satchel your, luggage. You want to be over encumbered <laughs> with Make things. Make it sound like exactly. she's toting Louis Vuitton around this world. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's carrying uh, um, satchels made of furs. <laughs> Sounds like Louis Vuitton. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm still <laughs> don't see a difference. My point. I'm still just improving. All right, but no. So Horizon Zero Dawn, I uh, spent a shitload of time in it, hoping like I don't want. I really don't want it to end. But yeah, it might be my number two game. It probably is my number two game. No, oh, wow. Last of Us, Horizon Zero Dawn. And then which one? You never answered my question. <sighs> Dark Horses. I, I probably got to say Dark Horses. Yeah, I think I think Dark Civil- Horses. Dark, Dark I think Civilization Civ. gets the boot. <laughs> To make room for Horizon, but if something else comes up, Dark Forces might get the boot too. I mean, Last of Us and Horizon—they're pretty, they're pretty solid up at minus one and two. Nice. You got to keep an old game in there. Yeah, that's why Dark Forces is there. Yeah, round exactly. And out. That's what I'm saying. You got to keep an old game. Yep. So, what have you guys been playing? Well, I've <clears> been doing a lot of demos. So, <clears> obviously, <throat> part of what we're going to talk about today yeah. is the Prey demo, right? Mm-hmm. But in addition to that, I was mega bored. And I think Overwatch was busy updating, so mm. I was like, okay, I will play something else. So I downloaded the Near Automata demo. Uh-huh. And that's a really, what really weird game. <laughs> so the demo itself, I will say, is very short. But part of that, I think, is because the action of Near is very fast paced. So to give you some context, the makers of Nier also made Bayonetta. Okay. Oh, so this is another same style. Yeah, this is another Platinum Games. It is much more JRPG style. Okay. In the not necessarily the gameplay itself, obviously, is not turn based combat or anything thereof, but its styling is very JRPG. Um, it's very anime. It has a very anime look to it and a very anime feel. The soundtrack is also really interesting. Actually, the soundtrack <laughs> is one of the better parts of it. But um, as far as the actual game goes, you are 
B2. You're an android. And you're pretty awesome. You have like a super cool, awesome black outfit and really cool... (laughs) Wait, Sorry. what? I just, just beep, beep, boop. <laughs> I, just, I just did robot noises. <laughs> no, they're basically just humans. <laughs> Boring. So they are, they're just androids, so they just look like regular people, kind of, but they have, like, no color to their skin, platinum hair, platinum games, probably. I don't think that was oh. the idea. I don't think that was the no. idea. Yeah, yeah. I don't no, know. I don't Throwing think that, in that, that was the idea. The designers are just like, wink, wink. <laughs> but the, uh, the story of the game is essentially you are this team of androids and actually throughout the game you have the ability to switch who you're being between three different characters depending on which direction you take the game and really outside of these androids the only other life forms are all other robots so most of them are bad there are not many good quote unquote uh, robots or androids left and essentially what has happened is these mechanical life forms invaded earth 80 bajillion years ago and now you are trying to preserve what is left of humanity I'm putting that in air quotes uh, which has basically fled to this satellite that is now orbiting earth so they send the androids down to earth periodically to fight monsters that are (laughs) robots and blah 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 and it is a crazy freaking game I've yeah seen from, game, so Sounds from crazy. gameplay it looks oh my crazy. god it's wild like it's i near, i near and i e r automata it is actually a it's not exactly a sequel story wise from the original near which came out some years ago it's actually not that new but it is in a uh, style so it takes place in the same world, more or less, just many, many years later. Has none of the, no recurring characters. It really is kind of its own I remember you. Sh- I remember game. looking at images yeah. when you first mentioned it. So the gameplay is, cool is a looking. really interesting blend of melee fighting and long-range fighting. Because you have this little other smaller android that looks like a PC modem that learned how to float. That's just kind of <laughs> following you around and it's like, okay, whatever. And it can shoot a gun, apparently. I never did really really get the hang it, yeah it was like pew 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 and I was like not helpful little PC I'd rather, yeah I'd, I'd rather have call. you out of here buddy so you can like shoot at things from long range but it's not very reliable or you can get up close and personal and use your giant crazy sword Hell thing yeah. that floats it's amazing I gather that if you play the actual game you get to choose between other types of weapons as well nice. I think there's like a battle axe or something it looks pretty I'm awesome about that yeah I like battle but axes the <laughs> It doesn't seem like something you would like. No, Zach. I don't. I like guns. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the more I see of gameplay of that game, I am like, I think I would like this I th- game. I, I normally like st- tend to stay away from JRPGs. I feel like you would like the gameplay, like, but I don't on? think you would like the story. Ah. Is think, it pretty insane? It's insane, and it's very... <laughs> It just looks crazy. Like it, the, yeah, it's just a crazy game. Like, what's going it's on? But you have a smile weird, the whole time. Yeah. You're like, this is weird. Like, I like <laughs> it. I don't this know. is fun. That's kind of how I felt about Bayonetta. I yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel weird. This is cool. It's what's happening? the same feeling. <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> So essentially, I it, the demo didn't make me think like I wanted to play the full version of this game. And that's partly hmm. because so the, the story mode itself from the demo is... Obviously, they're trying to conceal a lot, so it's not very emotionally engaging. There are certain parts that I think are meant to be like a real heart, you know, tug at your heartstrings. Yeah. But I was like, Psh, don't care. G- and does it start at the beginning of the game, or does it take place like midway through? Gun or do you, or are you not sure? It doesn't. It doesn't matter. It's okay. like irrelevant. All right. Uh, the demo is kind of its own little separate thing I think okay um, or if it does take place in the game it's got to be early on because there's a lot of key plot points that don't take place until way later okay. and it is actually has the potential to be an incredibly long game <laughs> there are four different potential endings hmm. oh Jesus depending on which character you are at which point in the game and it's just like for real I'm not going to play the game four separate times which is part of why I don't really want to play it all the way through because I hate not having all of those doors open to me yeah. at the end of a game And the gameplay itself is very interesting and it's very stressful. (laughs) Actually, I was going to use the word fun, but for me, it's not. I was like, I'm feeling stressed out by this. I would like to go uh, gather up (laughs) all of my Pikmin, perhaps. (laughs) Maybe go farm for some treasures. This is not really what I'm feeling like. So I think for the certain type of gamer that likes that super melee heavy, um, very swarm related gameplay and combat, that's probably a good choice. For me, it's not. Other people, maybe yes. And the environments. I would say that my main complaint is the environments are very bland. 
uh, the the color style, from what I've seen, is you, very much like a, a, a yeah. almost a sapia. It yeah, it's like, like a desaturated. It's like, yeah. a, it's like a rusted out world. Yeah. So you have to understand that in context, it makes sense. This is a rusted out mechanical world that's been taken over. So I, I get that it fits the story, but the levels themselves really suffer from sameness. Yeah. Every new area looks the same as the past one. So it may have been a cost saving technique, who knows, but as far as visual perspective goes, I didn't find that fun to play in at all. Yeah. I was like, this world sucks. I would like to be anywhere else. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. That's I thought fun. about giving it a go. Try uh, the demo at least. I don't, I don't think you I want to at least play the demo. I, yeah, yeah, why not? I have seen the combat of it in the gameplay and I'm like, that looks a lot of fun. But again, I'm wary because it's JRPG. Actually, yeah. one of but, the things that a lot or of similar in style to JRPG, but I mean, if, if I like the demo and then I see it on sale one day, I might yeah. be like, oh, yeah, sure. And one of the things that a lot of people did comment on is that uh, Twitch time from Bayonetta made it almost carbon copy clone oh. into What's Nier. Twitch time? Twitch time is the special... It's like slow-mo. N- n- not not Kind quite. of, yeah. It's, it's slow-mo, but ultra fast. Ah. Uh, essentially, how you trigger it in Nier is if you dodge an incoming attack at mm-hmm. just the right time, mm-hmm. it enables you to like kind of hyper fast, blank out, and then you don't take damage. Damage and nice. you can continue to fight. Neato. So really, after I figured I like out that. that that was an important part of the gameplay, I was like, oh, I suck a lot less at this. <laughs> yeah. So that's an important <laughs> nice. key component of nice. the gameplay, and I just was not getting it at first. Not about it. No. All right. So what have you been playing? I recently got a game. Because uh, you, fin- you just finished Zelda, right? I did. Breath of the Wild. I did. I did. did. Oh, 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 did you finish I that? I finished it. Okay. I've got it planned for a vacation. Gotcha. So that's what I'm going to uh, do. I'm sure you're very close. Time. Good call. I'm going to be spending my days on the beach with my Switch because it's portable. Did How convenient you, I is know. that? <laughs> did you hear about the DLC and what they're yes, releasing? Yes. I, I saw some interesting stuff okay. about that. You guys going to get the DLC? Exciting. I probably will. I don't know. <laughs> I think are you kind of well? I mean, you beat the game, so are you done? Like, are you done? Are you gonna move on? I have after beating Zelda. That's a whole other conversation. I have very oh. kind of mixed feelings about the okay. whole experience overall. Well, save it, save it. Yeah, keep, keep it in. We'll I will save it, it for later. But I've been playing a game called This Is the Police. Have you heard of that game? I've <laughs> never heard of that. Randomly found it last night. Played it for an hour. <laughs> so that's all I can really talk about. But it's pretty interesting. It's comic book style in okay. a sense. So. It's very, very story-based. It's very heavy on the story. As you play the 60-year-old police chief who is about to retire. Cool. And Classic. he has kind of one foot into the corruption in the city and then another foot out. It's very dark. It's a lot of, like, cursing. A lot of There's, like, even, like, a kind of a sex scene that I've already seen that's, like, drawn oh out. It's pretty weird. And <laughs> or It's not weird. It's just it's, it's a mature game. Right. And the gameplay of it. So, so imagine the. Um, before I get to the gameplay, a lot of it has to do with just making decisions on what to say. Like the first thing you do is you go to a press conference and people ask you, like, "Hey, you're retiring. How do you feel about it?" And you have like five different options. It's like Firewatch, you know. Did you say you'll get me out of this job? Well, over I didn't like know who this guy body? was, or like <laughs> if I really cared. Like I didn't know like if I should play as him or play as me. So I was like. Um, I said, I'm happy to go, you know, but I could have said like, fuck you, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like you're asking me dumb questions. That's you can, amazing. you can be like an asshole about it. Um, but the gameplay can, so it's, it's interesting. I, I got it and I was like, you know, what? I really want to try something different. I'm looking for like a different style of game, gaming right now. It does look really interesting. Yeah. Look at the art style. So that's kind of, it's a little bit different, right? <gasps> Toe with my chair. Oh God! I mentioned that hurt. Jared's oh. a fool. Anyways, yes. yeah, that's <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, that's toward at the, the, that's at oh, the beginning okay. of the game, All and right. like and, and he has a voiceover, so they have great voice acting. Oh, so, did you like my level of compassion there? I did. <laughs> <laughs> Non-existent. <laughs> Not, nothing. He's a fool. <laughs> He's a fool. The uh, the voice acting is very good and. Uh, the gameplay is really slow, and it's like not bad. It's just slow. Basically, the gameplay works as you have a little model of the city in your de- like in your office, and that's really where the gameplay takes place. It's like a zoomed out version of the city, right? And every now and then, a call will come in and like, hey, our um, movie theater. Yeah, there you go. Our there movie is. theater is getting robbed. Uh, can you help? Or, you know, it's a police call, right? And so you, as the chief, have to send out deputies out there. And depending on how many deputies you send, how fatigued they are, 
if they're like an alcoholic, even you, you know, all these factors play into whether or not it's going to be a Got successful that resource management. But yeah, on. it's it's resource management. So like a strategy game. Well, at you the are end of the, the day. chief. That's an important part exactly. of the job that most media <laughs> exactly. does not cover. And uh, so that's kind. You know, I, I don't. I'm not going to say I love it yet. I think the story's somewhat interesting. I like the dark tone. Um, the gameplay already feels tedious, though. I'm a little worried. Like every now and then, like you, like so I only did really one day of work. So one time we went to go some teenagers were stole some items from a house and we had to go so you know we get there and it'll give you like a kind of a curveball be like the teenager's like no you're coming what do you want to do and you can have the options of knocking on the door um come in with your guns drawn or just say this is the police like and you're surrounded and yeah you have to pick and if you lose an officer that's like like an officer dies that goes you go down on a bunch of points if you know it's a whole strategy game interesting right? yeah so it's really really different i was looking for a very different i do that's appreciate that that's different such a game. different approach to police work as well especially yeah. in video games i think that's yeah. really different yeah i think people want to like you know have the first person shooter experience this is just like sending people out to do it it's like full spectrum warrior remember that game i talked yeah, about you it's like about you a tell people ago. where to shoot. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, I'm not shooting it, but you tell them where I'm to shoot. I'm 60. Yeah, I'm 60. <laughs> it's like, ready to retire. It's like an RTS game where you send your minions. It is. To do your, your, it is. your dirty But it's you got all this like, cool Malur dark Jarrett shit. Jarrett loves his minions. I do love me you minions. Love and, uh, minions. Not the stupid the ones that work the me, hardest. Not despicable me the minions, furthest. but the minions of the video game world. I do love those. So yeah, I'm currently in the midst of that. But yeah, I beat Zelda. I've been playing Halo. I played a little bit of Overwatch. Which oh I yeah, jump back time. into it a little I bit. Jumped back in. Some friends were on there, like, "Hey, play Overwatch with us." Like, How's okay. it feel? Like, did it feel like it really good. weird? Because no. like, there have been. I feel like there have probably been a lot of updates and changes to heroes since last time I played. Yeah, I haven't even touched uh, two new heroes that are, exist: the Arisa robot and woman. Sombra. Yeah, Sombra oh, and the robot and woman. Yeah, yeah, nice. The nice. robot woman. <laughs> yeah, <I don't> know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so as Mogan al- alleviated to earlier, uh, that we are going to talk about the Prey demo. Now, obviously, again, the gamers game's on a out. budget. The game's game out. on a budget. We yes. should be talking about the game. We should be talking about the game, playing. but instead we're talking about the free demo. The demo. <laughs> but uh, the, this demo, I felt like, is a good enough to, to talk about because it's literally the first hour of the game. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's not a substantial like, so demo. The near Automato demo. That's hard to say. The near automata demo. Near if automata you demo. played it fast enough, I swear you could get through that in fifteen to twenty minutes. Really? Yeah. It's quick. Yeah. Like yeah this it, took it, me like an hour. Quick. To yeah. Get through. Well, well that's because it was supposed to be the first hour. And yeah. I and I derped around a lot. I was. I like, did what too. What about this? What about this? What about this mug? That's I, suspicious. I honestly so wanted to I try it again. It like I wanted to play it again. Yeah. You know, to try different methods uh, and different ways of going about things. So also. Granted, it's the first hour of the game, so if you're going to play it, you're going to see this stuff, but also how careful do we want to be about spoilers? Oh, not at all. Yeah, not at all. I was planning to go full into it. It's the yeah. demo. It's okay. the demo. Who it's the demo. You can't spoil the demo. Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, nobody. There we go. <laughs> it's decided. <laughs> it is decided. Jared shall allow it. <laughs> well, no, I just wanted to be considered before I like went off and like, because one part I wanted to talk about specifically, it's a fairly big spoiler about what happens, but is, I didn't want you guys to be like, whoa, whoa. Yeah. You know? it's spoiler like, alert, bro. It's, it's just wanted to make sure we, we were all yeah. in agreement. Yeah, but it's the very okay. start of the game. So yeah, like, like really the game like, hasn't started. Like the, it yeah. has started, but like I'm sure the real game hasn't yeah. started. Right. You like know? we are only touching the barest surface of the game. But in terms of the actual like startup to that, I really enjoyed it. You liked it. There, there were parts that I thought were phenomenal. So... What Agreed. We, yes. Where should we start? Yeah, I mean, start should we beginning. start at the beginning? Yeah, like okay. when was okay. the first moment you're like, oh, this is a good game? Oh, first question. Did you pick Lady Morgan U or Male Morgan U? I picked Male Morgan Male. Morgan. <laughs> I, well, why so not? Le- hey, Lisa. Did so you pick female? I'm, I'm going to laugh real hard. Yeah. Like, no, I picked male. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I picked, I picked Lady Morgan you because I was like, she looks awesome. So I they do. Both, they cool. both look cool. Awesome. I want to yeah. start by saying I am so happy that Lady Morgan you is not a younger version of Morgan you you can tell that she clearly has age and experience mm. yeah and she's I like appreciate that so much they're brothers and sister right n- yes yes, yes. Yeah. but Alex you and Morgan yeah. you yeah. so a lot of games will tend to uh infantilize female protagonists where they make them appear a lot younger than they actually are in the game and it's like she wouldn't look like that if she mm. were actually that right. age yeah. whereas Morgan Yu in the context of Prey looks like she is actually an experienced sea level scientist with yeah. a bejesus ton of knowledge and experience yep. and yep. it's like yes yeah, I okay. love that so 
Okay, so the first moment for me, so that when you wake up the first time in your apartment, you're going around. Did you guys go around? I went around and picked I up and too. read oh, every single too. thing you I could, did too. You could yeah, do. I read emails. Department. I like did everything. <laughs> Which <laughs> small thing? I love the interface of the computer. I, I do too. too. I do too. I, I literally was like, like this it. is great. I think it makes sense. Like <laughs> it, this, I feel like this could happen one day. It like, feels this like it's a touch screen, but I loved how it was like you hit the email and the the screen like scrolls up to reveal the email and scroll down. I just that stood out to me, and I was like, this was awesome. This is awesome. He had a video game console. I don't know if you noticed that. He was a gamer. I think you mean that. she was a gamer. Or she, he, or he, she, she they gamer. were a gamer. Too bad it's he, not she, really they. the apartment. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. Hell>. <laughs> <laughs> the elephant in the room. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the, the first moment for me, you I will say okay, this. Yeah, so you, you explore the apartment, you get a call yep. from your brother like, hey man, where are you? Let's go. Yeah. Let's, you know, first day. And you get into it and then it's you... It's exciting. Yeah, it is exciting. And you You're walk like, out to the cool. helicopter. Yeah. The first moment for me when I was like, okay, I'm into this already is... A, the music. Yeah. Oh the, my the, god, you're like the hell. opening Q. sequence was excellent. With the helicopter like, music. It was awesome. a really unique way to start a game. Which, in show sp- credits. Special shout out, composer is Mick Gordon of Doom. Oh, of the Doom that's soundtrack. right. You, I remember you said that. I remember you said so that. So I was like, did, did, you, did you look up the opening, the title of the opening theme? The, like the name of the song? Yeah, it's really it's really funny because the song is called... I looked at it today, but I forgot already. Everything is going to be okay. And, right. and all of the comments were like, spoiler alert, everything was not okay. <laughs> it's not okay. <laughs> but then, no, that was the other thing. I've never seen a game do their opening credits like it did. That was so yeah, I The titles were like built onto like the, the buildings oh God, and on the bridge. It. Yeah. And then the main... the. Pray as the helicopter's landing. Oh, I was just like, it was this very so. Cool. It seems so simple, but oh my god, it like it stood cool. out so Excellent. much. And yeah. it, it's partially because of the song, but also because of the way that they presented it. It felt like such a fantastic homage to eighties movies. It really did. Like eighties sci fi sci fi movies. But I was also, like, this is excellent. it was so like. It was so clean in how they did it's it. It was sleek. because it's there was no looking game. Beca- because it's no, you know, you get in the helicopter, you sit down, the helicopter takes off, and you're like kind of looking Nicest like me. I was looking to the ever. left, and I was looking out where I'd come from. A four seater with yeah, legroom, it's a beautiful <laughs> no. helicopter. And I was but like, the game wants you to look right, yeah. right? Because it, you know, and so you're like, oh, here's the city, and you look out there, and as you look out, you see Bethesda Softworks, yeah, and you're like, yeah, yeah, cool. Oh, <laughs> well, that's cool. Yeah, but I like kind of saw it out of the corner of my eye. I just saw like Bethesda, and I was like, what? Oh, yeah. And then as you're going, yeah, you're flying the pilots like, it's a real nice view of the bridge there. And you look at the bridge and it says Arcane, uh, Arcane Studios, Studios yeah. which shout out to Arcane located here in Austin, Texas. Hey. Here in Austin, they are. And we uh, get them on the show. I know. Let's do it. Let's hit them up. And <laughs> uh, barge into their office with, with the mighty of you on the show. All right. Come on. Let's sit down here. Say One something. at a time. Let's yeah, go. Let's go. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Um, <laughs> bring pizza. They'll love it. Yeah. <laughs> Who's going to say no to that? Yeah. Um, better and then, get breakfast tacos. Ooh. Who can resist? Ding dong. Right? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Torchies or Taco hey. Deli? We're from the uh, Taco Deli for breakfast tacos. Yeah, we're from Taco, Taco Deli. Deli. All right, yeah, I'll go on. with that. Flour only. Um, amen. <laughs> yeah, amen. yeah, yeah. Amen. amen. Actually, on that, don't give me the corn. Team chat corn, and corn, corn ruins the tacos. Are fucking bullshit. Yeah, they this suck. is Team Chat podcast. Today we're talking about tacos and breakfast. Tacos. <laughs> no, no. Amen. Thank you for saying that. But uh, but so but no. That opening sequence and everything cool. about it. Immediately, I was like. Okay, I'm gonna like this. Yeah. But actually, when that happened, I was like, I'm getting this game. Yeah. One thing that surprised me about the game, that I knew very little about it, and I think I don't know if other people knew more about it, but it seemed to come out of nowhere for me. It I just it. was like, oh, pray. Like I, I saw a TV trailer for it like two weeks before the demo. I played the demo. I just didn't know anything about it. I was a little surprised of the color palette. It's a very bright it game is. in a lot of parts, and which perhaps is supposed to contrast what's happening. But even that sequence of like San, is it San Francisco? San Francisco, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, 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 Bridge. It looks like The Sims or something. I don't know the color palette in that game. That's something that stuck out to me. It, it almost actually stuck out to me at similar in in st- slight similarity in style to Grand Theft Auto Five. Yeah, definitely. Huh. Very, you know, very like just bright. I don't know. Was, the colors. It were actually very saturated. parts of it, especially in the testing facility that you do in like the when demo. You see Alex for the it first reminded time, me a lot of yeah. Portal. Yeah. I was like, this reminds me of Portal. And actually, I did want to mention for those suits, I love the design of the suits. Yeah. I think it's such a, not not necessarily different per se, but it's such a fresh take on the classic space suit. Mm. Yeah. It's like this red and black, almost like 60s retro space suit. Yeah. It really did. It looks really cool. Yeah. It looks excellent. Yeah. So... So you get off the helicopter. Yeah, you're you go down. The, you meet that little robot. Yeah, right. And that was kind of interesting. Your little robot slave. And then you kind of yes. go, yeah, <laughs> I love this robot slave. And then you go and meet Alex. Yeah, your brother, your bro. And yeah, I guess you don't meet him, but you, uh, the player, do. And yeah. 
that's when you go into the testing facility, right? Yes. Is that the kind of the, the yes. narration there? Yep, which you're supposed to go into the testing facility and go undergo these series of tests because you're supposed to go out onto the space station, the yeah, Talos so, 1 space which station. Which is really exciting for me. I was yes. like, I, I, you know, I know there's a twist, but I bought into everything they were saying. Oh, yeah. I was like, yay, I, the game is going to start on the space station once I get there, I, yeah. you know, and then things will go wrong and from And things there. are going to go bad. <laughs> yeah. So to give but, a little bit of context for those that haven't played the demo yet, um, more, your character, Morgan Yu, mm. and his or her brother, Alex Yu, mm. uh, are part of Trans Star. So that's their company that they work for. Right. And they yeah. do all this kind of tech stuff, and they have floating around Earth, because it's in the future, it's like 20, what, 30 some odd? Yeah, I think so. 2032? It's 2030 yeah, something. It's like, and it does take place in an alternate reality where JFK didn't die. Oh, really? You, you picked up on that, right? No. No. You got to read the stuff. I did okay. read the stuff, I feel like, but I still missed out on that. No, no, no. So, so there's this whole sequence a little bit later once you actually are on the space station where you realize that you're in an alternate reality where there was an assassination attempt on JFK, but he didn't die. He survived and lived on to be president for however long he was president for. Yeah. So essentially, you are in an alternate reality where Russia and the U.S., started working together on this space station yeah. for other reasons, blah, blah, blah. It got know. discontinued and scrapped, okay, and then yeah. years down the line, Transtar picked it back up. They mm. got a hold of the Talos project, and they said, well, we're going to bring this to fruition, and they did. Okay. That's why you have because the satellite. And it's Morgan Yu's parents yes, who started it. Yes, so it's their family business, yeah, which I also, I love that aspect, because you almost never get a main character with an extended family kind of right. around yeah. them. So it's like, wow, this is my business. And These are place, my siblings. This is our parents. And power so quickly. Yes. You're kind of like a yeah. powerful figure already. You're like the big shot. Well, yeah. you're not the big shot. Your brother Alex arguably is, and your parents are, but um, you are obviously, you're one of the head honchos, and that's an interesting feeling to have. Yeah. It really is. I like, and so okay. So now we're into the testing f- facility part, yeah. which I love. And they're you, just uh, like giving you some tests because before you go on the station, we gotta run some tests. Make yeah. sure you're fit Standard for the job. Stuff. And so it's like Doctor Bellamy, I believe, was yes. the yeah. you know was leading it all. Interesting character. And you know he asks you a couple questions. You do the things he says, and then you know and he's kind of like, hmm, okay, this is fine. But you can kind of tell something's off. Like something's weird with their equipment. Yeah, I also thought like they were going to do something bad to me. I don't know. Yes. I got that, I yeah. that yeah. feeling too. Feeling. I was like, I get too. away from yeah. me, you like, strangers. Are they going yeah. to inject me with something? Or, yeah, I got, yeah, I got that weird I feeling about yeah, it too. Something weird. I also couldn't hide behind anything. Uh, did, did you, did you not hide behind, behind the, the chair? chair? I like picked it up and like just lifted it in front of me. You're and, so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> well, the chair, I was like, the, I was like, the chair's not going to block me. But no, see, that's what I did. I went, I went right for the chair and hit and they go, is he hiding behind the yeah. chair? They were like, oh, they like make fun of you. Hiding behind the chair, and it's like, bitch, there ain't nobody else in this <laughs> testing room. I saw like these two columns to the sides, like, was I supposed to hide I tried there? That. Yeah, but I tried this that. is where I feel that was yeah. really That was funny. a weird test. Yeah. yeah, and then they're like, okay, that's that's cool. Go on to the next one. Yeah. Now, this next one is the one that had the computer in front of you. Uh-huh. Yeah. And this, to me, if I hadn't wasn't already sold on the helicopter yeah, and the intro whole, music part, thing. that whole thing. Which, in the grand scheme of things, is a very easy thing to be sold on. Like they, they got me quick. Yeah. yeah. But, um, but this part, this third room, is where I was like, yes. So what? Yes. Yeah. What did they ask you a question? They ask you to look at the screen, and it, it. I love this not for what it is. Oh, it's all the philosophical questions, right? Yes. Yeah. Like if you like a bus is creating down the street, yeah. a train. There are five people tied to the track here, but uh, but you can switch the track, and one person will die over here. What yeah. do you or do? you can push a fat guy or onto the tracks, guy, and he'll yeah. derail the train, and everybody else lives. Right. And I was like, but that you gotta poor like, man. Push yeah. My Very brother different. is right. overweight. <laughs> You've got How dare you? How dare you? Alex, you is real fat. <laughs> yeah, Alex, real. he's an uh, overweight gentleman. He's he's plump. Yeah, he's plump. But. Um, but anyway, so I loved this one, not for necessarily the end result, but for the execution. Yeah, yes, I agree. I, I think agree. it was so this was well so done. well done. So what happens is you're sitting at this computer, you're looking at the screen, and if you've seen any trailers, advertisements whatsoever for Prey, you know that the alien race and the aliens that you're going against, uh, the Typhons, they can inhabit and mimic the shape. Of like other anything. of other of anything, yeah. And so and and so I'm so they I'm going down. I'm looking at the screen and my eyes as I'm playing me. Yeah, because it's first Jared, person. Yeah. yeah. Yes. My Jared. eyes. No, I mean even Jared, talking about you, Jared. the third brother. <laughs> no, I'm talking. I'm talking about even me as the player, like yeah. not my character, but me. Yeah, my eyes are physically looking at this computer screen yeah. that's on the screen, studying it. And Doctor Bellamy asked for one of his people to go get him coffee. Right. 
And so you're like, all right, that's fine. Totally normal request. <laughs> and you're sitting there doing the not very well, professional, that's, that's but normal, whatever. Yet. You're working at the computer, and this is what was so great. I saw a brief flicker of movement in the top part of my vision above the computer screen, but even in, on my eye where I was because fo- I was so focusing yeah. so much on the computer, and I just saw this brief like flash movement. And, I was yeah. like, and that made me look yeah. up and move my character's eyes up to look, and I was like, Oh shit. Yeah. Oh shit. This is not good. And yeah, then as saw. you see, and later on in the deal, the coffee cup that he picks up is a mimic. It eats his fucking face. And yeah. what's funny is like, <laughs> he, like he picks it up and he's like, well, why did you bring me an empty mug of coffee? Yeah. yeah. And then it comes and I was like, like oh! <gasps> right. And then right. like, it's so like strips his skull, just yeah. leaves his skull and his body just falls yeah. over. Oh, and then they gosh. release like a gas into the, tr- the testing chamber and you pass out. And the out. other two yeah. assistants freak out and like you're in the chamber. And so you're behind but, like, then, <laughs> but that's when one of my, so all, all that as great as it was still wasn't that hooked. I was like, okay, Still, it's that didn't cool. do it for you. That, no, it didn't do it for me yet. What did it for me is You're when you wake a... up again. That's what did it for me. I was like, "Oh, wait a minute!" Like, I really was that a dream? Yeah, I really yeah. felt like this game is now like gonna. There's gonna be layers that I'm gonna have to Uncover. peel away to figure out. And so you so that's what happens, right? You wake up and it's just the restart of the day. It's like, yeah. hey, it's Monday. Again. Same thing happens. Yeah, every it's same the thing. exact same playthrough. Like, oh. All of your emails are the same. Your uh-huh. alarm goes off with the same song. Yep. I thought your brother calls nice. you. Your brother yeah. calls like, you. Okay, well, this, was am that? I in Groundhog Day? Yeah, yeah. What yeah was you pick the suit back up. You put it back on. But then when you leave, yeah. But wait, you get a message before we get back into this. Like, I got to, I got to go back again to the to the whole coffee cup thing. Oh yeah, just because, just because that was such a to me, and I was thinking on this like, like that was such a brilliant way to do it, where it it was the perfect jump scare because it was this whole thing of you're looking down, and yeah. I feel like that's not something that normally happens in a game where something happens in the peripheral. That grabs your attention. It was a great misdirect. It was mm-hmm. such a good misdirect. Like they have you looking at this, and focusing questions. on this one thing, and then you just briefly see something. Yeah. And maybe like if you're have your vision angled down, you wouldn't even see the mimic. I'm nosy, so I kept cup. looking up. I was like, "What are they talking yeah, about?" Yeah, I, actually, going on I, I actually think I was looking like I was, wasn't expecting anything yeah. at that Sounds point. Like you and like so when that, that and so when I saw that, I was like, "Oh fuck, <laughs> shit's going, that? shit's going down." And so, okay, but yeah, that that part to me, I was just it was like, a really good, outstanding. It was a great part, and it also doesn't. It kind of like I didn't really understand what was still going on. I didn't realize. So I don't think I really watched the trailer. I saw it on TV, like at a bar. Like I really right. don't know they were shapeshifters like that. So I was like, oh, it came out of the coffee cup, maybe. You know, like I didn't real. I did not Must realize have been that. Some right, bad coffee, yeah, perhaps. Hmm, that's not Starbucks the right has coffee. taken a turn yes, in the for, future. Yeah, <laughs> not aliens though. <laughs> no, I did, and. um so yeah, once you leave, I don't know. Do you get a message before you leave, or do you just yes. walk out? I th- it's, it's not, what's his for name? me, I was walking around in the uh, in the kitchen of the of the thing because I was going around. I reread everything because I was like, "Is something yeah. different? Like, why am I waking up here again?" And then yeah, you get a. I cannot remember. Is it Angel? Yeah, no. who's the guy? What's the voice? The guy the who voice. calls you it might be. Angel. And it's I think a, it's Angel. Yeah, I'm not sure. We'll call uh, Angel. But then he, but he calls you and he's like, "Oh wait, so if you're male Morgan, you it's a male voice." Yes. So oh, you had a female if you're voice. Lady Morgan, you, well, yeah. it's not it's like a female I, voice. Yes. Yeah. Not to jump ahead. I won't jump ahead. So but again, yeah, they keep it like that a very, makes sense. Uh, I, I do sure. remember going outside yeah. my door and seeing the worker that you talked to the first time, like, "Hey, yeah. like, how you doing?" And now this time they're like a corpse. Yeah, yeah. they're like, Which they're like, like oh, a suctioned yeah. out Ooh. corpse. Like, yeah, and you get like Doctor Bellamy. And you get that uneasy feeling. You're like, ah, shit. And like course, you're like looking there behind me. Like yeah, I, you know, I felt very. Nervous. And you're like, crap. I thought this took place on a space station. Now obviously these aliens are loose in San Francisco. So this is great. Yeah, great. That's and like the be hallway is really dark. There's like friend. electrical wiring kind of out. The and door about. that you used to get to the helicopter isn't there anymore. No. Which freaked me. I was like, wait. I was like, ah. But you do get to pick up the wrench. Which then made me think that I had accident, like the game had glitched or something. I was like, why is there not a door here? <laughs> yeah. And yeah, and then you get the wrench. And all it says is like, get out of the apartment. I think yeah. there's a, there is something that spawns the, you have to get out. Yeah. Either it's Angel saying that. You or know, Angel actually, says it, you yeah, have to you get, get, out. get out. But they didn't say how. You know, it right? doesn't trigger until you leave the apartment. You leave the apartment and you, and you the find the maintenance worker. Yeah. And that's when you get the call. Okay. I, I think that's so the timeline of events. how long did it take for you guys to like, I got to get out of the apartment? Was that pretty quick? It, it was pretty quick for me to, to do that. It took me a long a nice time. Moment. It took me a while to figure out how yeah, to get out of the apartment. Yeah, yeah. Now your mic's doing it. Oh, my mic's on. So that's why I keep popping it because I'm hoping that like refreshes the... 
tower. We're still having technical. It didn't just, take me yell. any time there to figure go. out how to get out. You just went to no. the glass door. I was like, "Here's your an wrench. aquarium, boom!" Yeah, I knew. That's and that's, that's a how great moment though, when it's like the slow motion of the glass, and it's like whoa, 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 and it's like you're not in an apartment, you know, yeah. you're in a but I, fucking I just, thing. I only hit the thing because I was like, "Oh, maybe you go to the balcony and then you're able to climb down yeah. like a fire escape." <laughs> and so I went there and I was like. Um, Okay, I'll bust the glass. Like yeah. it was a, again a very well executed moment. Yeah. It was so that's the, all that moment when you wake up and do that. I was like, this is cool. I really love that. That yeah. was awesome. My platformer instincts kicked in, and I was like, none of the walls are real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was fake. running around with my wrench like bam, <laughs> and then I was like, oh, of course the aquarium. I never liked fish anyways. <laughs> and now I'm trying to think. You go through the guy's yes. kind of guiding you out, a guy or girl, and you run into like the first one that's back where the testing was done, yeah. and you yeah. beat so it with a wrench. So you're seeing like these basically stage sets. Yeah. They, yep. they, I mean, obviously it's all fake. Well, the helicopter landing pad was you fake. You get to the point with the oh, helicopter, yeah. and, like, and that was all like fake on, too. It's like robotics. And yep. did you know? Notice. So when you exit that helicopter area, you can you are meant to go forward, which I initially didn't think. I backtracked to go into the testing facility. I did too. And if you do that, and if you go back into that far corner, a a little mimic will pop out. Yeah, it's I one did of that the first too. ones that you meet. Yeah. You got to kill it. Yeah. But then, did you also interact with the screen to turn on and off the view? Oh uh-uh. no! That was such a nice touch. That was when I was like, yeah. Because if you basically you go from the helicopter uh, pad up and around to what is essentially a control panel. Okay. And the mimic is up there. And if you kill the mimic, that's all well and good. But then if you turn and interact with the computer screen there, it will only give you a couple of options. I think one of it's like a note. It's like an email or something. And Mm -hmm. the other is turn on view. And if you do turn on that entire fake area does the switch where it goes to the daylight view of the city. Oh, wow. Just like it did in your apartment. Wow. It all turns on and it's like, it's all fake. It's all fake. So that's when I knew it was all fake because I was like, I'm not even in San Francisco. Yeah. Like you can catch on fast if you caught that. Yeah. So then I was like, okay, I got to turn around. I got to go somewhere else. I got to get out of here. Yeah. So that was a really nice touch that I really enjoyed. It wasn't mandatory. It was totally optional, Mm -hmm. but it gave you a really nice quick view of where you really were. Yeah. Yeah. It was excellent. And so it, done and so then after all that happens you know and from then on it, the the demo is the basics of okay you find a weapon like that you find another weapon the yeah. glue gun glo yep. gun, I love the glue yeah. gun. I do like that it basically like it's hardens your enemies or whatever and, and you then you can bash them. them with the wrench yeah. it's basically a fire extinguisher but yeah. for aliens <laughs> and, if, and apparently it says that later on in the game you can use it to build like climbable platforms for yeah. you to work oh, on that's cool um yeah so basic standard stuff finding you things. run into like a bigger a different enemy the phantom yeah typhon yeah uh and you it, don't fight it though you just no, see you it see no it. i fought him oh you well, fought yeah, it? i fought it at the end really i, f- I found that i found actually two normal phantoms oh. and one who was on fire oh i didn't not find that. i didn't encounter <laughs> any of them you have I to go you end. have to go to the medical to the uh to oh, the medical you lab. Went to the medical lab. Yeah. I didn't go there. You go there, there are two phantoms oh, in there. Oh my god. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I'm sorry. I will say Just this. Kidding. I wasn't I'm not crazy about the design of the creatures. Really? I like that they can shape shift, but for me, like fighting them, uh, the sm- I don't know. I never got like they're just like the black blobs. I will say, you know, I will I say, like I wish there were more characters. To it. I feel like there will be though. Maybe yeah, so. There maybe has so. To be. There I think has to be. The there can't be just advanced. those two. I hope no, so. No, no, no. The more advanced I typhons. Like, I like the design of them taking like they turn to a trash can, and you really do have a sense of, like what? what the, wait, is that? You know, in like when you walk into a room, you're like bashing lamps for no reason. You I know, know? You're like, yeah. Die, coffee cup. <laughs> you know, you never know. You I went like to a bathroom and I was like just hitting like the towel, like dispenser. Yeah, I was, I was like, going in. I was like kicking toilets. over every every stall. I was like <laughs> paranoid. There was, here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> you probably ran into it the part where you're ascending a set of stairs and there's a commotion and a trash can. Yeah. Yes. Down. Yes. And then you look up and there's another trash can. Yeah. You're like, ah, oh, trash like, can. That is not a real trash can. <laughs> yeah. So it's actually kind of hubris to me too that you fight objects. First. Because you feel like a crazy person. You just do. Like, yeah. Damn coffee cup. <laughs> it's like, that's just a coffee cup. And then I, you feel stupid when it's not really a mimic. Yeah. I will say that was kind of my one, uh, not knock against the game, but the, the combat, especially with at first, felt a little 
awkward. Yeah, I actually, agree. I the never... wrench, the wrench to me, like it, like it was super hard to actually hit the mimics. You run out of stamina, which ooh, you have stamina. Yeah, you do for you running. Do. Fighting everything, yep. which I thought that was very interesting it's touch as well. It is pretty, it's got it's RPG pretty strong, elements. What? Yeah, I mean, I feel like your stamina isn't like super low. No, it's no, not like, like, like a you can, it's, Like I, yeah. I ran into a group of three mimics and I hacked them all with the with the wrench and it yeah, was fine. I but, agree though. Like the first one I fought with the wrench, oh, it I was, was like I was swinging everywhere. Yeah, and like <laughs> it kept like hitting a wall. It was it was like a little. It wasn't buggy. Just I was like, that's the, that was one of the reasons. I was like, I don't know if I like it. It was like kind of trying to jump at me, but I was like, oh, maybe I'm not supposed to fight it. Like maybe yeah. it's supposed to hit this wall over. And over, but I don't think it was. It was just hitting this wall. I was like, oh, maybe it's like a crazy one. I don't know. I didn't know what to think. <laughs> yeah. And then I just kind of hit it with the wrench. I was don't like, die. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, the then, Phantom uh, or whatever might be more interesting. Did you guys get the shotgun? Yes. I did, yeah. yeah. I like the look of it. I like how the, the, the number on the side and everything. Yeah. I like the I liked it too. And then, uh, do you get a pistol? You yes, do. you do get a, pistol. Pistol. I got a pistol. I got a pistol. You get a pistol at your desk too, which I really like. Oh. I mean, that's further into it, but like the, the, when you get to the end and you get to the, your desk, right, or your office, right? I think there's a pistol on the desk. But then yes. you have the whole moment, like again, coming back to the character having a lot of power. Like, well, this guy was like successful. What's going yeah. on? Like, like why you is basically he basically make your way up to what you can identify as the C-suite? Like, this yeah. is where all yeah. of the big people's offices yeah. are. Oh, which and it's uh, like the a fact that we're a fact that we're ignoring. You're already on the space station. You are on the space You've station. You've never been on San Francisco the whole time. No, yes. never happened. So it is revealed that you are already on Talos 1, and that's yes. a really good moment. Yep. Like when you when exit you come into the, the testing area, yeah. and you actually see that you are actively in space. You're in the main that lobby. Was a, that was a Yeah, cool and what moment. happens? Like something bursts out of the side of the ship. Yeah, like an explosion goes, goes, by. goes by. Yeah, you yeah. see Earth. Yeah, it's, it's clearly, a nice Yeah, moment. it's not a big momentous event, but you can tell that the station is falling apart, which is what's important to yeah. know. Yeah, and yep. here's something that surprised me. I know we're kind of jumping around, but here's something that also surprised me. It was like, okay, so I'm in this kind of uh, hub of the station. This is where you can go to other parts from this one area. And I didn't realize it's like this open world idea behind it. Yeah. Like you can go either, you know, I felt like it was going to be very got, linear and like controlled. No, and actually that's one of the biggest departures that this game makes from the standard that Dishonored set. Because if you played Dishonored, you may have realized that a lot of those controls felt really familiar. They did. I and got I was a like, huge this is, Dishonored Yeah, I was like, this kick. is very Dishonored, which I love. I love the Dishonored series. I mean, they're both series. Bethesda. But what it, the way that it... Leaves, <laughs> yeah, leaves that actual uh, setup is. I have been reading. It is a, it's a multi-solution game. Huh. There's much like Dishonored. There are many ways to solve different puzzles, yeah. but there's also no levels. Like yeah. you don't go through and you're at a separate level. It's well, now I have to go here. Now I have to go back here. So yeah. there is going to be a lot of progression and backtracking, which is good. You're stuck get, on yeah, a space station. Exactly. Like it makes sense mm. given the context of the environment you're in. Definitely has a murder mystery vibe to it as well. Yes. It definitely is like what happened, what's going on. There's there's enough of a mystery in the story so far that's engaging. Oh, for it's me. incredibly intriguing because yeah. so other than going around and discovering all these new parts and encountering all these different enemies, the big thing that that happens at the end of the demo yeah. is you go to your office because Angel tells you that there's a video you have to see. Yeah. And basically in that video, it's revealed that you've been on Talos one for a long time. Oh, because neuromods, those are the thing that give you the, uh, it's like, like some special abilities. Yeah. yeah basically. It's yeah, I got a very similar. Bioshock yeah. feel from a lot of this stuff. Yeah. Right. Because, and it's or like in Dishonored, injected it's by, your powers. Yeah. Right. yeah. And it's injected like in your, your eyeball. Eye yeah. yeah. I was like, I was wait like, a minute. Oh, yeah. God. Is that what's really going on? Which is why, but the, the way beginning, it was presented, but at the beginning, it's all Bioshocky. Oh yeah. Very much is. But then at the beginning, when your brother's calling you on the phone, he's like, Hey, is your eye still red? Now you know why your eye's still red. Because you, you're stabbing you're it with, yeah. <laughs> and then apparently it's like something with you find out in that video that reversing the if neuromods wipes your memory, yeah. basically because mm, yes. you've been so testing neuromods yes. on, on Talos yeah, One with your brother, right. but basically it reverses your memory, and which then you could you know just talk to somebody and figure out what the hell happened, but your brother has been making that not happen. Yeah. So he's basically been brainwashing you and deleting your How, memory day after day. However, after day. you talk to him at the end as well, and he's like, "Don't listen to it." Right? He gives you his side of the story. Yeah. Right. And he was. And that he's like, it was for some special reason. Yeah. But you don't know what so that is. you don't want to believe him, but at the same time, like, okay, maybe. I don't know who the bad person but is. But he does lay the groundwork for, look, there's more going on here than you realize. Yeah. You have to come talk to me so that I can tell you what's really going on. Yeah, so right. It's and like, that's kind of where. Is, is, so it sets up that really great feeling of, is he for or against me? Like, right. is he the bad yep. guy or is he going to, is he actually my brother? And right. should I trust him? Are my I parents love... the bad guy? Like, yes. can that come up yeah. at the end? Like, the parents Maybe are the Maybe you were the child like... they never wanted. Yes. You know, yes. I don't know. It's, don't know. It presents a lot. Ooh, can you hit that camera? Yeah. Uh, it presents a lot of mystery. 
history. And I think, and that at its base level, I think, other than the two things that I talked about with the helicopter and the and the testing facility, but I think that's what has drawn me to it already. Is it's not going to be your just your standard run of the mill like alien shooter. No, there's there's a story. There seems to be a good and like again with the RPG elements. I mean, there's a lot right. of like combination and upgrading and you know survival tactics yeah. that are going to be taking place. Like it looks like you can play the game how you want to play it. Yeah. If it's you know if you want to hide, or I see whatever. a lot of great replayability too because I, already yeah, I, I was so. already like I want to go back and replay the demo yeah. so I can go about things a different way because I think whenever you got your first neuro mod, I chose to do the one that lets you hack because I'd found a room oh, earlier. I think yeah. I did too. Where actually, I did that like lets you shoot. Like I could see there was something big I wanted to be able to pick up, so I went back to be able to hack it. Yeah. But then later I was like, man, I really wish I had done like yeah. combat something. Oh, and maybe I did that. Now. That's actually something that's very dishonored, where the decisions that you make affect your ability to play the game later on. Yeah. yeah. And that's uh, from what I've been reading. That's going to be a big key component of prey because it's not just playing the game; it's making decisions. And dishonored had really good examples examples of momentous decision making. Well, Dishonored also had that whole thing like if you leave a trail of bodies, that's going to mean this plague is going to be worse by the end of yeah. the game. Yeah, that's cool. Or if you don't, then the plague might be better non-existent by the end of the game. Oh, and actually that kind of ties more into how Prey does also have multiple endings. So depending on how well or bad you do, you're going to get a different outcome, which I love. Yeah, I that, that I love. Because cool. then that allows you to want to play the game at least that many more times yeah. to see all the different I'm going to play it shitty on on purpose at first. <laughs> yeah. I mean, shitty. I always go in with great expectations of being like, I'm going to be stealthy. <laughs> I'm going to be yeah, me too. smooth. I'm not going to like, everything's going to like remain intact. <laughs> yeah, but no, like the first firefighter gets him like, fuck it. Yeah, fuck <laughs> it. I got the rest of the shotgun. What am I going to use? <laughs> fuck it. But Alex that's what I love. up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see where this goes. <laughs> but uh, th- that's the other thing I love too, like how you could already, like you already got this nice mix of, oh, I can mix and match my weapons. Like yeah. I would free somebody with the glue and then smack them with the, uh, with the, Right, save the ammo of the shotgun, which you only get like five or six yeah. rounds to. Yeah. So yeah, it uh, it presented a lot of great challenges. I in will different say ways though that my primary complaint is the actual feel of the combat itself. Yeah, I, I agree. I, actually, I, I felt I very clunky. Agree. Like well, it that's just, what it I was saying about the wrench. Yeah, it just it yeah, didn't I feel agree. very intuitive, and I did not like. Maybe it's just because I haven't gotten to practice with it enough, but the uh, weapon wheel, like yeah. bringing up your wheel, yeah, and that, that was a, that was that a little was complex. So and I also tried to like put a gun into my quick, I did too, and like, it was I, I could not selection. I'm like, it won't let me. It yeah, and that yeah. might have been just something with the demo locking it down. Yeah, but yeah, I kind of thought that too because don't you have to like hold? I was playing yeah. it on Xbox, so don't you have to like yeah. hold Y? It was yeah. not like easy, and yeah. the no, it inventory wasn't. outlook itself, I hated the inventory. I was like, why is this like? Oh, see, I was fine with that because that's very much Deus Ex style. Yeah. Where everything like fits into a grid and you can fit more space by rearranging Ugh. your stuff Ugh. and combining stuff. I was stacks. like, this is awful. I don't like this yeah. at all. I'm used to that, so I didn't mind that at all. I didn't really mind either. I did say, I do remember thinking like, oh, the menu's so simple at the beginning, but it grew as I went yeah. through the game. And I was like, oh, no, more it's things. growing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, really excited to have a simple menu, but I was like, oh my God, it's getting huge. <laughs> <laughs> this is complicated. Yeah, I do like the Neuromod map. I thought yeah. that that was very yeah, that was RPG. Cool. That's something yeah. that anyone that's ever played an that RPG cool. will recognize. Yep. And it felt very intuitive because yeah. I liked being able to see where your options could go. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I want to be able to smash things with the wrench harder. So that's the direction I picked instead yeah. of hacking. Combat. Yeah, because then if you can smash it harder with each hit that you can, you know, you don't use as much stamina. So you can run around a little bit more. Because my um, aim sucks. Yeah. So I needed to be able to smash stuff real good. Which is just one thing also that I had to get used to that you can't like zoom and aim down the sides. Yeah, weapons. that was a little... You have to just use the crosshairs, which yeah, I get... Some games have that. Yeah, yeah, but it just but gets... Like, you, it. Every time I, that happens, I have to always reacclimate myself. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, when I first started playing Overwatch, like that was driving me crazy. Yeah. Because some, you know, some people can, others can. Yeah. Like, I don't right. think that was Widowmaker something... can scope, but like... Yeah. But you can like zoom in with can't. every weapon like the same or something. Yeah. yeah. Prey. It was like, just like you can zoom in. I don't think that was part of Dishonored. No, Dishonored... It wasn't. No, I don't because, feel no, like it was. No, because you had your pistol and your crossbow, and, they, and yeah. they just like, because you in Dishonored, you use your hands independently of each other. Yeah. So you very much had to be like, oh, I can't like zoom down this Not one. Not that I ever used any one. of that. I was just choking people out. Yeah. <laughs> Pacifist run. <laughs> yep. So, but yeah. Um, but now overall, though, super impressed. Very interesting. Very interesting. It I, definitely I, I really would interest. like to get it. Oh, yeah, and I do too. Finish it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fin- knock out um, Horizon first. Still got to finish that. I cannot put another game on my plate. 
uh, right now uh, because I really got to get that one knocked out. And then I might take a, and then I might go through a, a backlog game like the first Uncharted or something like that. And then I'll, then I'll pick up Prey because yeah. I was realizing I don't really have any games that I want to play till August, I think, like, or unless I need to re, I really need to re look over at the release schedules for this year. But I think the first game that I can think of that's coming out is the uh, Middle of Earth Shadow of War game. That's a sequel to Shadow of Mordor, and it's oh, coming out. In, okay. It's coming out in August. But uh, but yeah, I'm, I was pretty excited about that one. So so I was like, I got time. I can yeah, I can space this out. But I do really want to play because man, after playing that demo, I was it took all of my willpower to not go to this. You know, Just go right pre order it right, right then. Right away. I thought about it. I thought about pre ordering like it because you got like, the cool like shotgun yeah, you skin. You got like yeah. the family shotgun, the and family I was like shotgun, heritage. Yeah. I like that you could continue playing the demo. Yeah. After you're like, that's it. You know, that's pretty much the game. Yeah, you like it didn't immediately around. kick you out. Like there no. was clearly nowhere else that you could go in terms yeah. of branching right. out. But you, but you could stick around. around. Yeah. You could walk around. You could look at other stuff that you may have missed. It didn't immediately boot you out, yes. which I yep. really liked. Yep, I did, I did too. Yeah. All right. Shall we do a moment with Mogan? I've got some stuff. Not a lot of stuff, but I've got some stuff. All right, so coming soon. This is actually one that you may have played a million years ago on your PS Vita. Okay. Pa- oh, wait, this would have been the days of PSP. Never mind. Did you have a PSP? No. Okay. I did. In that case, oh, well, I did. Well, Ooh, well, look at you. Big spender. <laughs> all, my fr- all my friends did. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so Loco Roco Remastered is now coming out for Lo- PS4 on May up. 9th. Okay. Loco Roco was a crazy PSP game that was really fun and colorful. And if you missed out on it, it was probably one of the only games. I have played on PSP, period. So that's an excellent one. Oh, I, I yes! played this game. Logo, I did. It's Logo. a great game. It's really it's fun. It's a really, really good game. So that is, it's only coming out for PS4, oh my gosh, unfortunately. It's a classic. But it's the remastered version, so it's really fun. And yeah. like the, the it had such a fun vibe to it. Yeah. It was just a it was fun a great game, game all around. Also very, very whimsical. Fun. Excellent. Very whimsical. Uh, in other news, huh. we have Strafe coming for PS4 and PC May 9th. We have Butcher, which is a um, kind of 2D pixelated size, side-scrolling shooter, hearkening back in spirit to things like Doom, okay. back when it was really, really, really hard, uh, coming to Xbox One May 10th. We have Minecraft porting to the Switch May 11th, Akiba's Beat for PS4 and Vita coming May 16th, and then a little bit further out we do also have another one um, that's much anticipated by a lot of people, myself not included, uh, Injustice 2 for PS4 oh, yeah. and Xbox One May 16th as well. I played the first Injustice. It was a free PS Plus game I'm one year. I'm a Tekken one month. person, I so guess. other fighters I'm like... Boo. <laughs> I liked it. It was fun. I mean, I'm still not huge into the fighting games yeah. other yeah. than For Honor. But, uh, but I mean, it was a fun, like, comic book fighting yeah. game. So yeah. I was like, all right, this is fun. Is that, I, the, is that the Marvel versus Capcom? Yeah. What is DC. It? No, it's, it's DC. DC. Verse. Just DC. Yeah. It's DC comic so book. So it's characters. basically all, I think I played like, the DC heroes and villains. So it's like yeah. Superman versus... Batman like Black Canary, like that. Oh, yeah. that kind of stuff. We used to, I used to play that game with a friend. And we would, like, joke, like, Superman has a... Uh, move where he takes you up into outer space yeah. and we'd always be like oh Superman like and Batman are fighting and Batman's dead <laughs> like like, <laughs> Batman, like take him down his head, and he's dead <laughs> like and game over <laughs> so uh, back when in February when Sam and I went to New York when she and her friend went to go see Hamilton I stayed at her at her friend's apartment with her uh, boyfriend now fiance and we hung out watched Seinfeld and <laughs> play, and wound up playing Injustice also oh. uh, and it was it was really fun except he kicked my ass. Yeah. Like, like I didn't mean, go easy. I'm not good at fighting games. Yeah. Like I know that going in, but I was like, I could probably hold my own. Maybe win a few rounds. Yeah. No, I didn't win. No once. We played nine rounds. Fighting nine games. Ga- nine are games. An art. Yeah. If you're good at fighting games, like, and you don't play a lot, like if, yeah, you're not going to have, a I was like, time. Oh my God. So then we switched to halo played co-op. There you yeah. go. Yeah. So yeah, but the it, same team. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but no, it was still a fun game, but I was just like, what the hell? It's, it's really bad. interesting. Cause <laughs> like I love fighters and I feel like I have the ability to go back to Tekken and Soul Calibur after years absence and, and you'd be, be just able to as pick good it back up. memory. But with something like Smash, for example, I feel like I never remember how oh, to play. Yeah. I'm like, Smash how do I tough. do the stuff? I'm really yeah. bad at this. Smash be tough. I haven't Smash played Smash tough. in a while, and I just, yeah, you gotta know everyone's characters' yeah, moves. Yeah, you, you know, have to know everyone. Yeah, and it's, it's like I, Greninja. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm bad with everyone. Yeah, that's why I always stick to my tried and true Captain Falcon. Yeah. 
Falcon Luke. Punch. Oh, I love it. Just spam that over and over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually fairly decent with Captain Falcon. No, I don't just, I don't just oh, spam there, the punch. You said it. I just stand there and pose. I'm like, maybe if I look yeah, you fine do your enough. Poses. <laughs> yeah, people leave me alone. They'll that man looks alone. good. <laughs> They're like, just look at his off. booty. God, <laughs> <laughs> it's out there. It's out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <sighs> well, thank you. Yeah, for that moment with moment. Thank you. I know what's coming out now. Oh, I like the snap. No, we're snapping now. It's a new thing. It's a new thing. All right, all right, you cool. listeners, we'll try be snapping. it. We'll try it out. We need a nickname for our fans. I know. You know, we like really do. I because like maniacs. especially when I sent when I sent out <laughs> yeah, that that, uh, that that message today, I went, I just was like, hey all hey, you everybody, yeah, hey, hey all you people, hey, hey all, all you people, people. Hey, hey all you people, people. won't you listen, listen to me? me? That was wonderful. I just had a sandwich, <laughs> no ordinary <laughs> sandwich. <laughs> I believe we've delved into Wasn't the Team Chat podcast where we talk about SpongeBob twenty four seven. Sandwich made of jelly. He's like, skip it in Bob ba doo ba doo ba doo ba doo. Yeah, yeah. He's like, hey you. Got to, to try, try this sandwich. Sandwich. It's like a breakdown, and it? it's amazing. Let's give it to Bob to be boom, boom, boom. Yeah, it's so such funny. Such a good part. Hey, all you people. <laughs> yeah, what do, what are the, the 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 names of our fans? I don't know. What should we call them? Team. What do you guys want to be called? Chatters. <laughs> I know. Like, yeah, like, what do you? I mean, have? I could. You could just call them chatters, but that's hey, oh, that's chatters. so that's lame. Like a, that seems they like don't a lame name. Fans yeah, anymore. Like that. yeah. yeah, we'd be down to we'll zero. think of something. <laughs> I'll be like, no, thank you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to call them. The Teamsters. Isn't that the name of the unions in yeah. New York? <laughs> the, teamsters. <laughs> the old Teamsters. The old Teamsters. <laughs> All right. We can Team stick, we'll stick with the old chatters. Teamsters. The, the ye old Teamsters. Ye old Teamsters. Uh, but if you, anybody out there has a better name, please send it our way. Because, I mean, it took us like, what, contest. 50 tries to come up with the name to Team Chat? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. I mean, we're obviously, not good at, we're obviously not good at naming stuff. So, please help us out. Um, all right. Well, before we go and wrap this episode up. So, okay. So we're all in agreement. Praise awesome. Yes. And I'm just going to go ahead and I make... don't think Zach is quite in agreement with that. Oh yeah. I definitely have my hesitation about it. Yeah. There's hesitation. Yeah. Like some, like, I don't think things. it's awesome, but I do think it's good. I think yeah. it's potential. I, my biggest concern is the enemy. I love what they can do, but I just don't like fighting them that much. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, hope Fair for enough. a little bit more variety. With yeah. Them and, and that's a big part of, of the game. A lot that of is. fighting. It seems like I'm yeah. sure, I'm sure there will be, but obviously that's all we can see from the first hour of the demo. So I understand yeah. your hesitation. Yes. I did wonder if I had turned the sensitivity way up, if that may have helped. I think it might have. Because my main complaint was that it felt very sluggish. Yeah. And I feel like that probably could have been fixed simply by tweaking the controls. Probably so. But that's a guess. I did not do that. I didn't think of it at the time. So, and then, uh, so, okay. So we're given the Prey demo a thumbs up for now. Yeah. Till we'll we play a thumbs the, up. We'll come back after we play the full game. See Next how year. we feel after the, <laughs> after the whole game's <laughs> over. I'm going to go ahead retroactively, if it's not clear enough already, yeah. give Horizon Zero Dawn a big thumbs up, oh, team, team chat team seal chat. of approval. Watch him finish it and be like, change my mind. <laughs> yeah, that was a ter- terrible <laughs> ending. Fuck, Fuck that Horizon. game. <laughs> Fuck that game. It's now in my bottom 100. <laughs> it could be I your uncharted. <laughs> No, I don't. I don't see that happening. The ending would have to be terrible. Oh man! But uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just throw in all my stuff about uh, Horizon. I've talked about it now probably across three episodes. That's good enough of a review. No need to come back. Finally, I'm just giving it a seal of approval. If you have not played Horizon, play Horizon. Also, they are having a contest with the photo mode because the photo mode of that game is great. Ooh. I uh, like taking pictures in the game. Yeah, yeah. You can like, and they updated it with its most recent patch, uh-huh. where now it adds a little bit more. Like you can change. A Aloy's facial feature or her pose Ooh. and it added in like before there were certain animations where if you paused it and went into photo mode the screen that you had is the screen that you had you couldn't change the camera angle and stuff like that yeah. but now they did change that so you can really maneuver it that's cool change the I, field like good I took some good photos ones. but so what they're doing is and they've been doing it for the past couple of weeks I think now this is the third week of doing it they have a photo mode contest where you can take pictures in Horizon Zero Dawn, send them in to Gorilla Games, and the winner gets a PS4 Pro. Wow. What? That's a great contest. So Get on it, I, Oh, I took so many pictures in Horizon today. <laughs> and like the same scene, but like different angles. Yeah, so go. I'll be sharing those on Facebook oh, that'll be cool. later. Uh, you know, all the ones that I've taken so far. And uh, we'll do like team chat art gallery. I know yeah. we yeah. should do that. That'd and like cool. the viewers can critique them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tell me what they'd like different. Yeah, but so then I'm, a, I'm, I'll be a submitting. Uh, I don't know how many you can actually submit, but I'll be submitting at least one. <laughs> Infinite. Just cover your, yeah. Just do <laughs> try, as much just as try again. Cause it's multiple weeks. I think it's five weeks. So I think I could do, do it this week and then do it two more times. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, but yeah, so then I think like the uh, secondary prize is they will send you a like print 
copy of your oh, screenshot. That's just oh, as cool. That's pretty cool. That's yeah. pretty cool. Too. I'd that be just. Is, I mean, I'd be, be happy, happy with, with that. that. I'd be really happy. You have with a PS4. That. I'd be like, look at my art. <laughs> I, I do have a PS4. So I mean, you don't need granted, another one. If I got the PS4 Pro, I'd be like, ooh, you what's sell it? up with this? I, I might. No, I probably. They don't want to hear know. that. <laughs> no, because I, no, I wouldn't sell the PS4 Pro. I might sell my old one. Oh, okay. Because PS4 Pro does 4K. Oh, so you know, I can never sell my PS4. It allows me to play games online without PS Plus. Yeah, I know. I don't know. Yeah, how you have to hang you on should, to you that. Should really stop saying. saying. Yeah. 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 You should probably stop saying. Because they're by eventually going to catch on. By now, Team Chat is so big that a Sony yeah. rep has heard this, oh, they and they're like, "Ooh, all the time. they can't wait to work. Kind of shut that team down. Chat Every get my time news. that there is now a Sony update, I feel like they're targeting me specifically. Like I feel like we finally fixed the patch. I feel like they know I'm out there. They keep seeing me on their maps, and they're like, "That damn Mogan." How is it happening? And I'm like, you'll never catch me, coppers. <laughs> catch me if you can. Catch me if you can. Starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Hanks. It was a good movie. It's great. <laughs> For another time. For another time. <laughs> our, our film episode later yeah. coming forth with. <laughs> All right, but before we go, we do have to do our song contest Ooh, for this week. Oh, oh, Zach is finally. giving us the hint. I am. What is it? The hint. Spin to win. Ooh. Beyblade. Wheel of Fortune. Saga continues. <laughs> Uh, next. <laughs> All right, wait, let me change it. <laughs> All right, so spin to win. Spin to win. There you have it. There's your hint. Spin to win. Now, and, and I want to just say this. It's 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 easier than you think. The electronic Don't version think too hard about of the it. game of life. I'm saying it's Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> oh. I mean, it could be the game of life. Yeah, because there's a spinner. Yeah. Yeah. But Wheel of Fortune's all about a spinner. <laughs> so it could be that, too. It's video game. Roulette. Video poker. Ooh. Slots. So many. I think it's an easy hint. All right, but maybe not. All right, so. Well, I just could have no idea what the game is you're talking about. So, okay. but you know. That's, but you will in a second. I, I will in a second. All right. So, <laughs> when you send me the hint, because I need that tonight, because I got to edit this and turn it around for everybody for tomorrow big, big morning. Boom. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> All right. So, all right. Spin to win. Spin to win. All right. Well, if you are not familiar with our song contest, the contest Where goes have you been? live <laughs> Wednesday 9 a.m. We got those new listeners all the time, man. They don't know. Yeah, everyone's from day one. Contest goes live Wednesday 9 a.m. the day after this episode airs. So it's the 10th, May 10th. This, uh, this goes live at 9 a.m. Central Time. I feel like I should probably start giving that that it's Central Time. But we'll put up a, we'll put up a post on Facebook and Twitter saying that it's a go. Give us your guesses. Yeah. First person to correctly guess on either of those two platforms will be able will then be able to send us a song and hint for us to use in a future episode. This week Zach's giving the hint because no one guessed the song episode. The, the <laughs> so song Zach from gets a couple a weeks special ago. Special hint. <laughs> so, and that's why I was the get hint giver last week cuz it's ball still in our court. It is well not anymore. Not anymore. Cuz Nicholas Actually, correctly you're right. guessed you're right. StarCraft. So Nicholas, send us <coughs> your hint and song for us You've to use in summoned. a future episode. Well, I believe this draws that ep- that draws this episode of Team Chat Podcast to a close. Until next time, I'm one of your hosts, Jarrett Wilson, joined to my Husband right mix. by Rachel Mogan. You're not uh, a, you're not a real person. <laughs> She's a mimic. You're a mimic. <laughs> Ash with a wrench. I can. <laughs> and to my left, Zachary Parks. Adios. We'll see you all next time. Stick around for the song. 